Hello everyone and welcome to the 4.5 Seer Sage changes. Oh, what a sad day for the Seer Sage. Really, I got the nerf that it needed, to be honest with you. It has had the big nerf to do that that it needed. Uh, basically, what has changed? Well, bloody everything has changed, okay? Go through the patch notes. Benevolence has a force cost of 58. Benevolence has a base cost of 70, up from 55. Says, uh, no, no, there it is. Still says 58. There's Benevolence now has a base cost of 70. And is up from 55. Mine says 58. Don't know, maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Yeah, still looks to be... Maybe it's a bug there. Uh, Rejuvenate uh, has a base cost of 40, which is up from 30. Alright, Alacrity must lower it, I'm guessing. Because then it's only 36. Hmm. Maybe Alacrity lowers the cost. I don't know. Or there's something that lowers the cost. Uh, Force Armor has a base cost of 45. But it still says 26 here. No, no. Maybe it does cost 45. Nope, it still costs 26. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the base class that we're looking at. Um, let's take a look at the... It just says, yeah, Seer. Yeah, this just is the base cost. It must reduce the cost when you go into healer spec. Uh, Deliverance has a cost of 45, up from 37. 41 here, it says. Hmm. Does it reduce, does Alacrity reduce the force cost of abilities? Global cooldown speed. Oh, let's get naked. We'll find out if the force cost changes. Nope, Alacrity doesn't. Oh, naked. Weird, either, either that's a bug with the display or it's a, so Healing Trance has a base cost of 60. Up from 48. Yeah, that's correct. It says consume 60 force over the channel. Healing trance is correct. Um, salvation is 75, should be. Uh, still says 68. Weirdly, that's weird. That is weird, because it's supposed to be 60. Okay. Uh, Wandering men should be 65. Up to, it says 49. Up from 50 and heals for slightly more. I don't know, I'm confused now. I'm confused, thanks Bioware. Um, yeah, uh, Clairvoyance uh, increases bonus healing 3%. Down from 5. Yeah, that's correct. That's the correct tooltip. Uh, Salvation for 68. It should be 75. 41 for Deliverance, it should be 40, I mean it's close, but you know, it's uh, not quite annoying that it doesn't match up. Force 49, on Wandering Men, it says it should be 65. I wonder if it heals for slightly more now, that is weird, it's weird, that is really weird. Um, I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know if it's a bug. Again, this is Bioware, so you never know. It could could be costing 500 force for all we know, and it could be bugged. So you you never know with these. You never know with these developers. So does it really change anything in terms of our playstyle? Not really. It does make us more conscious of our force, at least in theory it should. Uh, our go-to, or still our most important ability here, is conveyance. Okay. Rejuvenate grants conveyance, which gives the following benefits. These haven't changed. Benevolence still gets a 60% crit chance. So if you have 40% crit, which you should be aiming for, it's auto crit. Okay, it's going to be an auto crit. Uh, the deactivation, the activation time, not the deactivation time. The activation time of deliverance is reduced by half a second. Healing trance gets a 25% crit chance. Uh, very important. We'll explain that later. Uh, salvation reduced. Force cost is reduced by 30%, and Wandering Men immediately wanders to and heals the targets without 
waiting for them to take damage first. So you can see wandering men just insta bounces between all targets. There you go. You didn't cost that much force to be honest. So you've got your wandering men there. Also puts up an armor buff. Okay, armor rating increased as well. So we want to be using this generally on the tank. Rejuvenate. Quite an important ability. Uh, and the reason we want to be using it mostly with healing trance, our channeled ability, is, of course, because of resplendence. Okay, healing trance criti critical ticks grant one stack of resplendence, which improve the effectiveness of our next vindicate or salvation. Okay, vindicate restores five additional force and consumes a charge of resplendence. And also, Vindicate does not give you the Weary debuff, okay? Weary reduces your force regeneration, okay? And we don't want it. Also reduces the cast time, the activation time, by half a second for each... By, by a quarter of a second for each tick. If you get the third one, it's instant. Okay, so if you use three stacks of Resplendent, your Salvation becomes instant. Okay, now... What we want to do is keep ourselves in as many stacks of Resplendent. So Rejuvenate, Healing Trance is our general go-to. And there we got two stacks out of that there. That wasn't too bad. Uh, you can see here it lowers us down to 1.3 seconds. And if we spend a stack of Vindicate, consumes a stack and we get no debuff. Consume all the stacks. If you use Vindicate without Resplendent, use that. Again, there, weird. Uh, you get weary. Okay, force regeneration rate is decreased, and I think it's stacked. I think it's four times the stacks up to. Yeah, so it stacks up to four times. Now, what you can do as well is if we get a resplendent stack, come on, come on, come on, is cancel off these weary things with resplendent. But we want to avoid that. Generally, we want to avoid that. Uh, we want to avoid that because we want to be keeping our force in a position so we can still heal. So our goal generally is on our tank pools, we're going to have force armor up. It does do slightly more force armor on your target at all times, and then you want to keep up your rejuvenate, and then it's healing trans, get stacks up, and then it's just a case of healing. Generally our go-to for healing is Keep this up. We've got a rotto crit from our set bonus. We can use deliverance, of course. We then get a free instant cast benevolence. We can then spend that. It's very difficult to demonstrate because things aren't taking damage and shit isn't going down everywhere. Uh, it's better to demonstrate in gameplay. But the general rule for single target is either deliverance with the auto crit and the shortened cast time or uh, healing trance if it's available. Healing trance is your top priority, okay? Uh, when it comes to when it comes to gear, when it comes to utilities, should we say? Uh, generally, we want Jedi resistance. Okay, three percent less damage, of course. Uh, pain bearer, no brainer, really. Increases all healing received by ten percent. Redistributed life, we don't use. Bear in mind, one of your defensive cooldowns is a heal, force mend, uh, and of course you can heal yourself uh, with uh, life ward you tend to take as well so it gives you two percent of your total health i don't know if it affects life ward or not i don't know um i'll take psychic suffusion because there's nothing else to take if you're really confident in the group that you're in you could either take upheaval for single target and have a 25 percent chance to throw another chunk of debris with project or if you're doing it where you could take tectonic mastery but generally psychic suffusion it's a small heal doesn't really do a huge amount force wave healing, but it's better to have it than not have it, really. Um, in terms of Masterful, I like Blockout. It gives us an extra defensive cooldown. Cloud Mine grants Blockout, which increases damage reduction by 25% for 6 seconds. Generally, if we're pugging and we have to use Blockout, then we're taking damage. So getting the, uh, getting the extra 25% damage reduction is nice, okay? Um, the other one, Mind Ward, if we're in a fight where there's a lot of periodic damage going out, if you're pugging Draxus, nobody ever interrupts them. Uh, so, uh, again, Draxus, Coratini, nobody interrupts the stupid uh, affliction, mass affliction or whatever it is. Um, Coratini as well has a lot of dot damage going out. 
fractal mind ward is quite nice. Periodic effects. You're doing PvP as well, and there's you're fighting dot specs. Pretty uh, reasonable as well. The other one is Valiant. We don't really use Valiant, to be honest with you. Um, we just use the ta the damage taken of the rescue by 25%. Not really, and the healing done by Force Mend by 30%. It's yeah, it's not the best. We'd rather take less damage to be honest, then uh, get ourselves in that situation where we really need fourth men. We've got a lot of AoE heals and things to heal ourselves up, so hopefully we won't need that, but pugs are pugs, and uh, generally I like block out as my preference. Uh, tel telekinetic defense is quite nice as well. 10% extra absorbed by a force armor, I'd say this is mandatory. I would take it. Uh, heroic, mandatory, force mobility, healing trance can be activated on the move. Remember how important healing trance is to us, okay? If we get a circle under us or we get something that we have to move out of, we don't want to be moving and interrupting healing trance, okay? We want to move and keep that healing trance up. It's very, very important that we generate those resplendent stacks. And the other one I take is Life Ward. Again, 2% healing while your Force Armor or Force Barrier is up. Enduring Bastion is what you get at the end of Force Armor. The other one to look at is... If we're getting stunned, mental defense, if there's stuns going out, uh, that's pretty decent. Um, force armor, not really the best idea. Um, Ethereal Entity is another one. Um, in fights where there's a lot of AoE going out, okay, reduce all area of effect damage by 30% is quite nice, okay. Using phase walk, returning to your location, perfects you being let, pulled, or makes you immune to interrupts as well that's pvp but the aoe damage 30 percent less aoe damage bear in mind some fights are a lot of aoe going out okay so 30 percent less so it's either that or life war but force mobility is the mandatory one there in terms of gearing a sage crit now becomes quite important okay 40 percent crit is generally where we want to set up Okay, we want to be sitting at 40%. Okay, I'm at 42. You can get beyond it fairly easy. Fairly easily. 42% is nice. It does mean that our force potency gives us a 100% crit chance. Okay? It says it increases our crit chance of direct attacks and heals by 60%. So we now have a 100% crit chance by popping this because it adds 60% to our base crit. Very, very important that we hit that. Alacrity is not to be ignored. Okay, 1400 is a decent amount, probably pushing towards 1450 maxed out. We've got a few 224 main hand, getting the set bonus generally is the priority. You'll see here we've still got a few 216 pieces in here. Um, what in the hell is that thing? Oh yeah, I've still got a 192 armoring in there. I'll need to update that actually. <laughs> have to buy uh, you know another piece of gear for that. Uh, we've got our six piece. Very, very important. Uh, four piece in particular. Okay, stores an additional five force or vindicate. Uh, not really hugely important. Doesn't sound important, but we'd rather have it than not have it. Uh, the six piece is very nice as well, reducing the cooldown of healing trance by one and a half seconds. Again, the more healing trances we get out, the more resplendent stacks we get out in a fight. Uh, also, you get the auto crit on our deliverance as well. Okay, so deliverance will automatically crit. And bear in mind, seeing as we're going so far into crit, ideally we, what we want to do is, after 40% crit, we don't really care about crit chance, we care more about crit multiplier. Okay, so we want that, trying to get that to 70% is a good idea. Um, alacrity around, sort of 30, I think 1300 is a good number, 12% should be the target of 11.82, I'm not too concerned with my alacrity. Again, alacrity just speeds up the ticks of healing trance gets you rejuvenate healing trance off cooldown faster and it gives you force regen but crit does do better for us in terms of force regen but in terms of alacrity i've got yeah 216 enhancements is all we've got and we've got a <laughs> oops pardon me i have got yeah i've got a one that's a crit one um, yeah, 216, we've got one, yeah, every, everything we've got for Alacrity is 216. Uh, I, no, except the, the chest, we've got a 220 chest. 
uh, for our alacrity. So we could easily get that to 1300. 12% generally is our target. That's what's left. I don't think we've got any augment slots left to update. Everything's 208. That one is a free augment slot. I'll probably slap alacrity in there just to put it up to 1276. And then just upgrading them to 220 and 224 will give us the extra alacrity that we need. And crit, I think we're fine at 1400. 1450 perhaps in 224. We could maybe get to... I've got one 224 piece, which is the main hand. It gives us 282. Uh, crit rating includes the uh, crit crystal as well, obviously. We want to run crit crystals for this class. Okay, make sure you're running crit crystals for them. That's the only other thing. Other than that, you know, we're not in a bad gear position, I don't think. You know, 1400 and 1200 is pretty decent. 1300 and 1450 is, I think, where we're going to top out. Again, we get an extra 9 alacrity from 224, 220 to 224, so maybe, you know, that's 216. This gives us 225 crit, 220. Um, that only gives us 212 crit. That needs an upgrade. The gloves need an upgrade, so we'll add more crit to the gloves, really. It's got crit in it already. It's got a 186 mod for crit. That needs a slight upgrade as well. So around 14, 1450 is where I'm going to top off uh, my crit. Um, I don't think we'll quite hit 70% crit multiplier, but who knows? 1300 alacrity. We've got another. Uh, get no other slots available. That's the only 186 aug that we got. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, upgrading them from 2 to 224, um, 216 to 224 should be enough. And putting an augment in there. Um, it's only a 216 uh, com piece, so that's why I have bothered augmenting it. It's a waste of time. Waste of time augmenting it. Run EV uh, when EV is the op of the week. And you can run EVHM virtually any time and get them in there. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, we'll have to do gameplay. I'm going to have to do gameplay in order to test this fully uh, because it's difficult to say because the class is pretty much the same you know gameplay style it's not really the gameplay style hasn't changed any our priorities haven't changed our gearing hasn't changed if anything it's more of a priority to get 40% crit 40% crit is probably the minimum okay you're gonna go beyond 40% okay just because that's where it's gonna the gearing is gonna take you beyond that but anyway, that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me. We'll see you again soon, and goodbye.